Good afternoon, everybody. Um, just wanting to work with you on another method for solving systems of linear equations. So solving systems of linear equations has a lot of detail in it. Today, we're going to work on the concept of using addition. We're going to add together the two equations to find the value of one variable and then use that to again substitute in and find the variable uh, or the value of the other variable. Um, there are several ways to name this lesson. Um, we're gonna do it with addition and subtraction. The honest truth is the other name given, if you looked it up on the internet or something, you could call it solving systems of linear equations using elimination. We're gonna eliminate something. Uh, so if you see that pop up, same thing, okay? Now, our big idea is when the coefficients of like terms are additive inverses, the addition method is efficient. That's telling you when to choose it, okay? It's also efficient when coefficients could easily be made into additive inverses. I'm gonna show you an example of both, okay? Please copy these examples down. Having them in your notebook can be life-saving on a test. Just a reminder, coefficients, okay? A coefficient is a number with a variable, okay? Usually being multiplied. Examples, 5x. 0.7a, uh, one half um, b, okay? It doesn't have to be a whole number, okay? Negative 3m, okay? Positive, negative, decimal, any number that is being basically multiplied with the variable, that's a coefficient. Like terms are terms that share, and I should have given myself a little more room here, okay? The same variable to the same power. Okay, so some examples could be x and 2x. Um, y squared plus uh, 6y squared. But notice, if it has a variable, it has to be the same. Or I'm sorry, if it has an exponent, it has to be the same. Now, additive inverses, okay, our values... that create a zero pair. If I put them together, they create zero. Two and negative two. Okay, negative one half and one half, okay? Anything that basically cancels itself out and creates a zero, that's an additive inverse. And this is the thing we're looking for, okay? When we have additive inverses, this is an efficient method. So it's the thing we're looking to identify. All right, so let's take a look at this example. 2a plus 5b equals 17. 6a minus 5b equals negative 9. Notice that 5b and negative 5b are additive inverses. And for a couple pr problems, I'm going to have you identify them or write them down, okay? So in order to solve this, we have a really great, very 
simple, straightforward method. Okay. I can draw a line underneath it like it was going to be an addition or subtraction problem. And we're going to add these together. 2a plus 6a, and we have to have the like terms lined up together, is 8a. 5b plus negative 5b, that cancels out. It's nothing. And you don't need that plus zero, but I'm putting it there for a point. 17 and negative 9 is 8. So 8a equals 8. You guys just took an entire system of equations and turned it into a sixth grade equation. Since this is 8 times a, we're going to divide on both sides. a equals 1. Now, once I know that a equals 1, I can choose between these two equations and see which looks less complicated. Neither of them look very complicated. So 2a plus 5b equals 17. I'm just taking this top equation, and I'm going to substitute in the value of a. 2 times 1, 5b. 17, 2 plus 5b equals 17. Now we need to get b all by itself so that we have a value. And so at this point, I'm just solving an equation. This is a review task, not that you might not need some practice with it. That cancels out. 5b equals 15. Divide both sides by 5. B equals 3. And we remember, when we write a coordinate pair, we do it in alphabetical order. So in this case, A, B. So our solution is 1, 3. Okay, and so we use this, this method when we already have additive inverses that are so easy, okay? Now, I want to show you one more layer, one more level, okay? What if we had these two? Negative x plus y equals 4 and x plus 2y equals 8. I'm sorry. Okay. So negative x plus y equals 4, and negative x plus 2y equals 8. Okay. They're the same. But you could, up here where I say that it's also efficient if coefficients could easily be made into additive inverses, what if I took this and I multiplied everything in the top one by negative 1? So instead of x, or negative x, I now have positive x. Instead of y, I now have negative y. And instead of 4, I now have negative 4. Leave the bottom one the same. I made my own additive inverses just by multiplying one equation by a negative. Okay. Those cancel each other out. Negative y, I'm missing a yo-yo. I get two yo-yos equals y. Negative 4 and 8 is a positive 4. That's it. That's the whole solution, y equals 4. Now I could take this, put it into one of the other equations. doesn't really matter which one. Negative x plus y 
equals four, and this says y equals four, negative x plus four equals four. Subtract four on both sides. Negative x equals zero. Oh, well, that's cool, because that also means that x equals zero. Zero is an okay answer. It's a number. And my solution would be zero, four. Okay. So hopefully the definitions and a couple examples, and please looking at the examples in your textbook will help you with the try problems, and then we'll practice more in class. Thanks, everybody.